Welcome to the channel guys, we're back again and today we're going to be talking about Genre Parfums. Recently had a small haul where I picked up some of their samples and I'm going to be doing first impressions on four of them. So stay tuned for that. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, I really do appreciate it. it helps me grow my channel and I like that. First, I actually want to point out something as I've been purchasing genre samples and parfums for quite some time and I really appreciate and enjoy how the presentation has improved a lot over time. This right here is one of the very, very old original decants, a plastic bottle. It gets the job done. But the new decants have a nice label on them. They're made of glass, which is always better. Uh, for preserving the quality of the fragrance. And of course, they just look all around much nicer. But anyways, I have four of the samples here, and they are Music to My Ears, which is their interpretation of Jazz Club, Noir Zest, which is their interpretation of Black Saffron, 337, which is genre's interpretation of Lafayette Street, and Sixish, which is their interpretation of Tuxedo. I'm actually gonna go ahead and start with that one. I tried out Tuxedo recently in um, a couple of different boutiques that I was in, in London, as well as in the airport. I actually do enjoy it quite a bit. Let's see how this one holds up. So right off the top, the opening is actually fairly bright. I do get a sweetness there. The bergamot is very nice, fresh. Um, I wouldn't say overly zesty, it's also quite sweet and it smells very nice and very juicy. And I do pick up on that violet leaf as well. It adds a nice dimension to it, a sort of um, sweetness and a lightly floral note, I suppose, but not particularly uh, overly floral. It has a very interesting and very juicy opening. And from what I remember of YSL Tuxedo, this, at least in the opening, is fairly close. And I will also point out one thing that is nice about this fragrance so far is it gets right into it. So sometimes I find with clones, the first five, 10 minutes often can smell quite poor um, or perhaps alcoholy or not at all like the fragrance that they're trying to smell like. And this one actually hits it right on the head, right from the start. Very enjoyable. I think this is one that's very easy to wear and is definitely suitable for a lot of different occasions. But I'll let that dry down a bit and I'll come back to it. And now I'm gonna do Noir Zest. It comes off almost like a uh, embery, a burning ember or something. Definitely has this very spicy, smoldery accord in the opening that's actually quite nice. Now, full disclosure, I actually have not smelled the original, so this is all just first interpretation of this, so I can't tell you exactly how uh, similar this one is to the original. But it definitely is interesting. It has a spiciness there. It has that embery quality that I actually like in a lot of fragrances. But I definitely do pick up leather and it's the kind of, it is the kind of leather that is present in Tuscan leather. It has a very forward kind of chemically leather smell to me. So it doesn't have the smoothness of something like suede or something you find in ombre leather, which I really enjoy. And it's probably my favorite leather fragrance. This definitely does though have some similarities to Tuscan leather and uh, Godolphin. It has that sort of chemically leather. All in all, it is interesting. I would say with respect to Tuscan leather and Godolphin, it has some similarities, but it definitely sets itself apart. So it's not a clone by any means. I know a lot of times people do have these expensive houses like Byredo and these niche fragrances that kind of just have very, very similar fragrances to other houses. And while this definitely lends from or borrows from Tuscan leather, Godolphin, those types of fragrances. It certainly, certainly smells different. I think the saffron and the added juniper berries kind of level this one out about a little bit. I find Tuscan leather is a little bit too harsh for my nose. It's, it's not bad smelling, but I certainly prefer things like ombre leather that are smoother, 
um, and more easy to wear. So all in all, this does smell nice and does have some similarities with Tuscan leather. So 337 here, this one I also have not smelled the original Lafette Street, but I am gonna try it out right now. So right on the opening of this one, it opens very sweet. I get a huge, huge burst of that green apple. This one is actually really enjoyable. So far, this is probably my favorite one, although I do also like the um, clone of Tuxedo 6-ish. I really enjoy apple notes. This one's very prominent, a nice crisp green apple, definitely at the front with a lot of sweetness uh, behind that, and it comes off quite realistic. I don't get any sort of um, chemically or synthetic vibe to this apple. So to me, this works really well. I definitely pick up also on the Ambroxan. It has a little bit of that vibe too. And I would say the green apple is a little bit stronger, but that Ambroxan vibe is definitely there. Very enjoyable. And I'm gonna move on to the last fragrance, Music to My Ears. There's a little bit of sweetness behind that too. And actually one thing at least on the initial sniff that I'm getting is not a lot of that mint vibe. So I do find that the original Jazz Club has a mint vibe that can lend itself a little bit to smelling like toothpaste, at least to my nose. This is one of the things I don't like about the fragrance. I really love the boozy tobacco vibe that it has going, but that mint toothpaste vibe definitely takes away a little bit from the fragrance. There is certainly a mintiness there. I do definitely pick that up. It's not quite as strong, at least right now, which I do actually like as an added bonus. But I can definitely get the booziness and I can get the tobacco as well. So this one is also pretty well done. I'm quite familiar with Jazz Club. Um, I'm gonna have to do a full review on it sometime soon, but definitely it is very, very similar in the opening and actually I'll say the mintiness is definitely getting stronger. So really this one is almost a exact clone. I'll say this one is at least right now to my nose, 99%, but I'm gonna leave that one. I'm gonna do one more sniff of all four of them and let you know what I think. So for Tuxedo, I'm getting a little bit more of that vanilla in the later stages of the opening. It is. Definitely smelling the bergamot's pretty much gone, and I do pick up a little bit also of that violet leaf. I'm definitely picking up more of the vanilla. There is a sort of creaminess that's coming out with this one that makes it very enjoyable. It blends really nicely, and I think it's softened up a little bit. The bergamot is definitely gone by this point but it does smell nice. It's very warm and inviting. Black sa with black saffron, it definitely is developing and smoothing out a little bit. It definitely has some of that harsh chemically leather that I associate with things like Tuscan leather and Godolphin. So it is definitely a very similar fragrance, but it is again, a little bit different than both Tuscan Leather and Godolphin, but it definitely draws on a lot of those tendencies. Lafayette Street, still smelling very nice, getting a lot of that Ambroxan, a lot of that green apple, and again, very enjoyable, nice, uplifting fragrance, easy to wear, sweet, um, and overall very pleasant. I think this is something that would probably do better in the spring than the upcoming winter, but this is an enjoyable fragrance, and I think it's one that's probably not talked about a lot from the house bond number nine. So based on this scent profile, I would definitely rank this up along Bleecker Street, which is one of my favorite, if not my favorite from the house. So this is really well done. Again, I unfortunately haven't smelled the original. I can't tell you how close it is, but it does smell fantastic. So music to my ears, I will also say this one to me smells absolutely dead on including that minty vibe. So it has the booziness and the tobacco and that very prominent minty vibe going along with it. Fantastic job on this one. I think it is a near perfect inspiration. 
All in all, though, I will say I wouldn't have been disappointed if the mintiness was toned down a little bit. I think that's the one change I would make to that fragrance to make it really, really something that I love. Um, but it is otherwise very nice, and of course, this is one that's good for evenings out, that kind of thing. Anyways, guys, that's my first impressions of these fragrances. Have you ever ordered something for a genre? Leave a comment down below on your favorite fragrances. Let me know what they were. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.